Okay, so um, this video is going to be about exporting your gallery uh, for your client once you're done editing. And um, it will be a little bit different because I am using a Mac. Um, but it'll be along the same lines. I think you'll be able to figure it out if you're using uh, a PC. So um, as we go on, went over in previous videos, um, I've gone through and edited this entire collection. And um, all, so all my images have five stars. If I were to click over here down in the filter for five stars, you'll see that the number here doesn't change between one star and five star, which means that I've gone through, edited everything, five starred everything that I liked. It's all in there. We're good to go. So uh, from here, we're going to just start at one end of the collection using our shift key, go all the way across and then click at the other end. And that's going to highlight everything um, in that gallery. And this is just the way I do it. Um, not everybody does it this way. So if, if you find a different way you like to do it better, that's fine too. Once I have everything highlighted, I'm going to right click anywhere in, the, in my little strip here. And I'm going to go to export and then export. Uh, from there, you're going to get the um, export oh, box for, for Lightroom. And you're going to pick where you're wanting to export to. So choose. And then this is for the Adcock wedding. So I'm going to just continue with that file. But you find where you want to put them. Um, you'll be able to like, you know, put them in your documents or downloads or wherever you're comfortable. I'll show you real quick here in mine. I have a document in my documents. Then I have a 2017. And in there I have all my different clients. All everybody is sorted by family. Um, and then you can go into their folder. So I'm going to go and choose this folder for Adcock wedding. You can then choose to put it in a, a subfolder. Now, in my Adcock Wedding folder is already on my raw files, on my originals, and um, I don't want to get them all mixed together. So I am going to go, go ahead and choose to put them in a subfolder. So it's going to put it inside the Adcock Wedding folder into a subfolder, and I'm going to label that folder edits. Now I know that once I go into my Adcock Wedding file, I can then go into the sub file edits and it'll just be everything that I've edited, nothing, uh, none of my raw files. So once I have that in place, I'm going to scroll down here. You can choose to change the, the name of the files. So you can choose to rename to um, a custom name. Um, we can do Adcock Wedding and then start with one over here and then it'll go Adcock Wedding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and that's gonna it'll just change it. And it here's an example of it right here. Dot JPEG. Alright, um, we're not using a video so we don't have to worry about that. Um, file settings you can change you can choose what file type you're using. I just use it at JPEG. Um, you can choose to change what type of uh, color setting you're using, and I just leave it with the sRGB, which is the default. The quality, um, I take this all the way up to 100 because you want your client, you want to be able to deliver your client the highest quality of image, ready to print, ready to go straight from your hands, or you know, if you do a CD or a website, straight to from there to the printer. You don't need to limit your file size if that's how you're doing it. Um, this this part here comes in handy, like if I am saving an image with my watermark on it to post onto my Facebook page, I will take the quality down quite a bit. It will still post well, but if someone were to, you know, right click and save the image, they won't be able to reprint or reproduce that photo at a good quality by doing that. So, since this is going to my client, I'm going to take that quality up to 100 not limiting the file size, not resizing any of the images, um, not changing any of the sharpening I'm doing, not changing any of the metadata. Um, and this is where you can choose if you're wanting to put a watermark on there or not. Um, when I give my stuff to my client, I do not have a watermark on them, but if I were to um, 
post this for my social media, I would put a watermark on it so you see my 1KW, which is me, and I put LR for the lower right and white. So I know that this particular watermark is for the lower right hand corner, upper left hand corner, upper right hand corner, um, and these are just ones that I've made and maybe in the future I'll make a video on how to create and upload a watermark into Lightroom, but not right now. So. Uh, no watermark for these since they're going to a client for me. Post processing, I'm not doing anything here. Um, nothing needs to be done. So I've got all my settings here. We're good to go. I'm going to go and hit export. This is repairing, and you'll see up here the progress of that export. So we'll give this a moment and let it finish exporting. And it'll take a minute because there's quite a few files that are 151. So we'll just give it a minute here. Okay, so now you can see the progress is done and everything has been fully exported out. And I'll just give you a quick, um, I'll just show you quickly what I do with my photos once I'm done. Drag this over here so you can see. Um, so I use a website called Pixie Set. Um, it is cheaper on the wallet than um, paying for another uh, provider it, or paying for CDs or jump drives or anything like that. And that gives me the opportunity to be able to upload different galleries. As you can see, these are all my current galleries. And uh, then my client can go in and view their entire gallery. Here's an example of what they see. There we go. When they go, let me expand this out just a little bit. So when they go and they want to see their gallery, this is what they see. And it's got all their images in here. Cute, cute, cute. And then when they're ready, they can use these icons here and they can download, put in their information. I provide them with a, a pin so that they, not everybody can just jump in there and download their stuff. And um, then they can download their full gallery from there. So come back over here so um, going back to my collections so this is all my galleries here and I would just do it start a new collection again this is the Adcock wedding oops put the date that this wedding was which was the 20 was it 25th I think <laughs> let's see what day is today I think it was the 18th. We'll go with the 18th. I'll change it if I need to be. I'm going to add photos. And I'm now I have the free um, option for this. Um, but you can pay for more space if you wanted to. And I'm just going to grab all my folders and throw them in there. So now it's going to start uploading. When I'm done, I send my, my client the link and their pen to download. I also send them um, a print release so that they can print where, with whomever they choose. I'll end up updating this cover photo with, with one of their folders or one of their uh, photos. And so this personalized and uh, put their name on there and whatnot. And when they're done, it'll just look like one of the other clients that I showed you before. And again, that's Pixie Set, and um, they're they're great. But you can have a limited for free. You can have very limited um, space, but um, I have all my files backed up. So this is just for download. Once a client has successfully downloaded their their gallery, I can then delete it off the website and uh, make room for new ones. And if they should need it again, I can always upload their gallery again. So just an option it helps with clients who don't live here where i live and then you know if they come here and i do their shoot here and then they go back to wherever they're wherever they live they can always uh, still obtain their uh their gallery without having to wait on the mail or or anything like that so again that's pixie set so yeah anyway that's how you export and that's a quick overview of how i import into my particular chosen website um if you have any questions feel free to contact me but that's about it thanks